But the major times that that Fauci said something pretty absolute, and then within weeks flip flopped, and he, he I guess he started with with uh, what was what was until just a year ago the the standard scientific understanding that lockdowns just don't work and that the collateral damage is devastating. That was his opening position on this whole thing. It's absolutely. We can go back to January twenty fourth, two thousand twenty. The virus had broken out in the Wuhan region of, of China, and just a day before, that's when the Chinese government locked down the city of Wuhan. And they, they were all over the news showing these draconian measures of roadblocks on the streets, uh, of barricading people into their apartments to prevent them from going outside. Fauci goes on CNN, I think it was, and they ask him about this measure, and he says, I can never imagine doing this to the city of New York or the city of Los Angeles. And the reason I can't imagine it is it's against our political values. And then he goes in and says, you know, epidemiology literature is considered lockdowns or mass quarantines, as they were called before this year, uh, before. And the evidence from previous times they've been tried is that they just don't work. And that was his word on uh, January 24th, 2020. Two months later, he's leading the charge to lock down Los Angeles, to lock down New York, and to lock down the rest of the country. And um, you know, the the your your critics would say, but but he's learning this whole time, so of course he has to pivot. Is is that what's going on? I don't think that's what's going on at all. I think what we have in Fauci is he's testing the political wins. And he is saying what he expects his audience to say. He's also saying what he expects is going to keep him at the center of political power, the center of being the spokesman on the pandemic to keep the media going to him. And what he did in early March 2020 is he started to read the cues that the, uh, the political discourse was shifting toward lockdowns. And he actually misread quite a bit of evidence. He gave testimony before Congress on, uh, I think this was March 11th, uh, 2020, uh, where he goes and, and he says that, uh, uh, I think he had some like outrageous quote. He said something like that the coronavirus could be like uh, a thousand times more deadly than the flu. And there have been several epidemiologists that have studied his language in this testimony, and they found uh, – there's one really uh, revealing article that a, uh, I believe was a Canadian epidemiologist published over the last year. And he found that Fauci had just conflated two different terms, two different statistics, and basically read the wrong statistic to Congress, uh, whether intentionally or through sheer incompetence. And that inflamed them into panic mode where they were accepting of lockdowns. Uh, so not only do you have someone who's not updating based on science, but rather than politics, you have someone who's kind of stumbling his way through that really doesn't have a command of the scientific literature. He just spouts terms and talking points that turn out to be wrong or misapplied or misunderstood.